Hello everyone, I'm Mark from Red Duchess Farm. Back in December, we went down and spent a few days with Danny and Wanda at Deep South Homestead. When we came home on the 13th of December, we brought back sugar cane, which Danny said needed to be planted as soon as possible. Well, it's been a couple months or more and um, just haven't had a place to, to get it planted. Um, so when we brought it home, it was in a plastic garbage bag and I stuck it in this blue cooler you can see behind me and it sat in our greenhouse that we were only keeping in the 40s to keep a few plants alive for most of the last couple of months. And so it's getting to the point that it really needs planted. Um, so we're going to take you through that process. I'll show you what's in the cooler and how we're going to plant it. And maybe Danny will leave a comment, let me know whether I'm doing it right or not. So what I did this morning was brought some warm water out to mix with our water here in the greenhouse because it's fairly cool. And I've had this sugar cane soaking in some water for a couple of hours. As you can see, there are some, some sprouts on some of it, quite a few roots. And so I thought perhaps soaking it in some warm, not ice cold water, it's not really warm, but soaking it in some water before I planted it might be a good, good way to go with the roots, give them a chance to soak up some water. So let's get this planted. I've never planted sugar cane before, never really been around it, um, so we're just going to take these and lay them out. Four or five inches apart, I think, probably, and part of that will be based on how much room I think I have. Nice, nice shoot on that one. And there you have it, laid out in rows. I'll get some uh, soil and get this covered up and bring you back when that's done. see I'm planting this about two to three inches deep and uh, if I need to add more soil I can. This is a uh, local compost. It is not organic. It's a leaf mold compost that we use in our greenhouse soil. So we'll finish getting this covered up. Try not to break these small shoots off that are coming out. And we have sugar cane planted and 
Illinois in February. This probably won't be able to go out into the, into the garden until I would say early May before the soil temperatures here warm up enough for it. So it's going to be interesting to see how big it is by then and how many times I have to break it off and break it back and keep it trimmed back in order to get us through essentially two and a half months or so before we can actually put this out in the ground. If you like what we're doing here at Red Dutch's Farm, click the like button, subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell to get notifications when we put up new content, and come back and join us again on the farm. Thank you from Red Dutch's Farm.